high traders so here is how you can stand a chance to win concepts pro subscription up to 6 months and also here is how you can go ahead and predict bank nifty's weekly expiries better using concepts option analytical tools so talking about this particular session so we are going to use multiple tools to go ahead and gauge the expiry a bit better so we are going to use open interest tool then we will use the futures open interest to gauge the strength and have an bias on the market then we will try to use the option pain understand what option pain is how it works and then we will try to enhance option pain even more using the option gain tool in our application and last thing we will also have a quick look on the index contributors to understand how the components in bank nifty have been behaving and how they are behave so let's try to go ahead and kick start this analysis by understanding the open interest level understanding the option band for bank nifty in this expiry so talking about option band for bank nifty in this expiry is so the highest call stands at 38500 highest put stands at 38000 so 38000 becomes my support and uh, 38500 becomes my resistance so these are the levels which the participants have created for bank nifty's this weekly expiry they are expecting the bank nifty to kind of make a movement in this particular option bank so there is a multiple hurdle on the upper side which is at the 39000 call as well where we can see a good amount of call writings happening at that strike as well talking about on the put side you know there are not a lot of significant put writings happening on the lower strikes uh, below 38000 so this acts like my a very vital support for bank nifty in this particular expiry so one should always watch out for short coverings happening on the call and the put side to gauge the sentiments better so let's say on an expiry day hollow indicates short coverings or unwindings brighton tip indicates addition in the open interest so if let's say if i see that there is a lot of short coverings happening on put strike as it happened yesterday let's say on at the money put which is 38000 200 100 and 38000 put option observe a lot of unwinding on the put side which indicates that the support is might getting broken now coming to the next analysis we can use the futures open interest historical to form a bias on bank nifty because this will help us in understand that how the historically built up was been made in bank nifty so talking about bank nifty out here so from this particular day which was uh, 27th of october 2021 so from that day bank nifty's price what uh, was 40960 from that day bank nifty has just witnessed two long build ups which were also marginal rest whatever the up moves in bank nifty were they were only due to a short covering scenario rather than a fresh short build up so the bias on bank nifty if you look at this data is on the negative side versus there are not a lot of long build ups getting added right so up moves are only backed up by a short covering scenario so looking at this data it will give us a bias about the strength of the market like let's say if there are up moves in bank nifty are they backed up enough by you know the historical build ups like today we saw bank nifty making a good kind of a move uh, a small move it went positive in the middle by 0.2 percentage but you know there is no historical strength present in bank nifty then again it had a dip right now it is trading at 38200 so you can gauge the sentiments you can check the uh, strength of any instrument in future open interest historical now coming to the expiry specific tool which is max pain it works brilliantly well in highly liquid instruments like nifty and bank nifty so max pain is that level which tells you that on this level option sellers are making most money but option buyers are facing a huge loss so options as we all know it is a zero sum game if i have bought a call option and let's say if you have sold that same strike call option i will make a loss but you will make a profit right if a, if one makes profit the other one will be in a loss so option pain is that level which tells us what is the level where the call option sellers and the put option sellers are making the most money and where the call and the put buyers are losing the most money so that becomes a vital level a likely level of the instrument to expire over there 
especially we are talking about bank nifty so that becomes the vital level where instrument might go ahead and expire for the day now as we are discussing this do you think that bank nifty is going to expire exactly at 38300 no is that a static figure it is going to be constant throughout the expiry no it will keep on changing it will keep on having those shifts so we need to gauge the shifts most importantly rather than just observing the level once so we need to go ahead and kind of anticipate how the shifts are happening to go ahead and anticipate the expiry better so let's let's understand how we are going to go ahead and do it first thing let's say the bank nifty is trading at 38150 okay gain uh, max gain level is placed at 38300 uh, now let's say after uh, one or two uh, hours from here let's say uh, at 2 pm bank nifty goes up till uh, 38600 or 700 okay let's say that bank nifty goes up till 38700 but max pain level does not make any shift from there it tells us that you know the call and the put writers they are not ready to leave that expiry soon they have not shifted their positions anywhere which indicates that they are expecting the market to have a kind of pullback have a dip and expecting a expiry in the vicinity first thing second thing is observe how along with the bank nifty is moving prices this pain level shifts let's say again the same example bank nifty goes up till 38700 along with that the pain level shifts from 38300 to 38500 which indicates a positive shift in the max pain level which indicates a positive up move which the participants actually acted on that right bank nifty went higher but in the first scenario the participant never reacted to it indicating that the writers are expecting the expiry in the vicinity second thing along with the rising prices the pain level also has increased indicating that they have now shifted their positions from a lower strike to upper strike indicating a positive momentum from there on now most importantly how we are going to observe those shifts so we have a tool which is named as option gain so option gain is an enhancement of option pain wherein you know this tool is very helpful when we are trading in expiries and when we want to check the changes happening in the gain level or in the pain level to be specific what is gain level the level where sellers are making the most money what is gain level where the uh, the level where the buyers are losing the most money so gain level is that level where the option sellers call and put both making the most money it is almost you know you can call it as max pain only okay what different in this tool is if you see 38000 831 is the eq level now let's understand eq level what exactly eq level is and how the things work so let me create a scenario uh, that i sold a call option on you know last thursday okay last thursday or friday i sold a call option of bank nifty now i sold a call option for bank nifty i am receiving the premium in advance i have made significant returns because of bank nifty's bearish move from there and the time which has kept on decaying anything about that you know anything about this eq level which is 38831 assume that i sold a call this is my break even now i see that bank nifty makes an up move and it has crossed my break even that is the time on an expiry day specially as a seller as a call option seller i will be in a most panic i will panic a lot because i don't have a lot of time to left right a lot of time left to the expiry let's say uh, i received what 100 rupees for a premium right and we all know that 100 ka option can go double in next to no time because of an high intensity breakout so i am feeling that heat of the moment i will feel that heat of the moment at the level of 38831 because that is the level where the call seller is not making any profit so instead of gain level you can focus on eq level as well because from this level onwards call seller will start to make a loss expiry day hai i can't do anything i can't do a lot of adjustments in that only option left with me is just go ahead and cover that short call i will go ahead and cover my call so due to sold calls getting covered 
as i am trapped the entire market or a lot of participants like me might have been trapped right so looking at those particular data points there would be a short coverings happening once this eq level gets broken on the upside so observe how the eq level is placed first and how exactly the eq level is getting broken and vice versa on the time side if the eq level is shift placed you know at the lower level so the put writers will be at a loss anything going down very drastically put writers will panic and the vice versa scenario applies on the negatives now coming back to the max pain let's say i want to check how the gain level has shifted today from let's say a uh, 10 am onwards or let's keep it 9 19 which is from the market open to to the time of let's say a uh, 11 am okay so if you see that within this time range gain level was 38400 right 100 points positive than the current gain level so which indicates that you know there has been a positive momentum happening in bank nifty because there was an upward shift in bank nifty correct first thing second thing you can go ahead and check let's say how exactly the gain level has shifted from 11 am onwards up till the current time so the time is 1 13 10 okay or let's keep it 13 5 and also if you focus that eq level is at 38500 so in terms of intraday you can set the time range to intraday you can consider the eq level if it is placed on the upper side you can consider it as an resistance if it breaks out it is good if it is on the lower side you can consider it as a support if it breaks down on the lower side the support is getting broken so that is how you can go ahead and gauge the sentiments much more better now coming to the last part finally is about the index contributors which we ignore a lot of time so coming to index contributor you can check out for nifty bank nifty both so most importantly never just focus on nifty or bank nifty data always check how the components in those sectors are behaving so talking about bank nifty sbi and indusind bank and icici bank are only the instruments which are driving the index but the heavyweight hdfc bank is actually dragging the index down so there are only three scripts who are you know driving the index higher and higher so that indicates again a negative kind of momentum happening in bank nifty so you can also have a look on the index contributors which will tell you okay let's say if entire thing is positive gain level is positive the shift is happening is positive again it indicates an upward shift happening in the probable expiry level so that is how i would say you can go ahead and use the concepts option analytical tools and gauge the sentiments much more better especially on an expiry day now coming to how you can go ahead and win you know concepts pro subscription up to 6 months so you can refer this link so the link would be in the description box below don't forget to check out that so the link is concept.com/bn wherein it is the contest of predicting bank nifty's weekly expiry wherein you just need to go ahead and predict the expiry level you don't need to go ahead and invest anything in that so now coming to how we are going to predict it and how what the rewards are so let's try to talk about the rewards what your rewards are so if your prediction is 10 points uh you know plus or minus the expiry level happens happening on thursday you'll get 3 months of pro subscription of concept for free if your prediction is plus 5 points or plus or minus 5 points around the weekly expiry you'll get 6 months of pro subscription if your prediction is 15 points plus or minus the expiry level you are going to get 1 month of concepts pro subscription now let's try to understand how we are going to do it you can scroll down a bit then you'll get an option of predict and enter contest so let's say predict and enter contest go to login and enter contest okay just try to give input about your id concepts id and password okay and then you'll get to see that you need to input about uh, what is your expected level of bank nifty's expiry so i am expecting the level of 38400 okay then i will go ahead and just click on enter contest i will be redirected to twitter so tweet would be automatically created you don't need to change anything in that just go ahead and just click on the tweet button so that's it 
the tweet has been created i have been participated in bank nifty's weekly contest wherein you'll get to see that i have uh, tweeted this thing tagged konsa so you can go ahead and do that predict a likely level of bank nifty's weekly expiry and also we keep on posting a lot of you know data points related to the derivative segment out here on our twitter channel so i would appreciate if everybody follows it because the thing which we post over there is all about the data and how we can go ahead and make the most out of the application out there in the market so yeah i would say that was it from my side for this particular session do check out bank nifty's weekly expiry contest and predict bank nifty's weekly expiry and stand a chance to win 6 months of pro subscription and also be a data driven trader happy trading ahead thank you